What's going on guys, it's your boy Rob Lee back here with yet another video. Yo, this video, this is gonna be straight from the top. Y'all see the um, thumbnails and the title and stuff. Yo, this is just gonna be talking about changing your life and things that I've done in the past week that have been uh, kind of beneficial to me. So I just wanna share a couple of those things um, y'all saw the city is mine in the beginning of the video. Make sure y'all go stream that if you like it. That link will be in the description below. You know, all the stuff going on, I had to make a video about, you know, the city is mine basically was, um, when I wrote it, I wrote it in the mindset of both police brutality and things like protests and stuff like that. And I also wrote it in the mind state of, of what we, the, the stuff that happens in Baltimore as far as like, you know, just living in Baltimore and the dangers of living in Baltimore and you just never know what's gonna happen if somebody runs up on you and try to shoot you and stuff like that. So, um, kind of kind of both, but you know, when I listen to the lyrics more and if you w go watch that video and the way I lined up like the different pictures and stuff, man, it actually came out perfect to me. So, um, that's what I'm calling. So yeah, um, definitely check those two out if you're interested. Or either one, I mean, they'll, they'll both have the same song, The City Is Mine. So, yeah, if um, you like the song, go ahead, stream it, try and get those streams up one night. But anyway, uh, before I digress, I'd like to say also, subscribe to the channel, comment in the description, and put your bell notifications on. I haven't actually been saying that in the videos, but um, yeah, if you want to keep up with my content, put those bell notifications on so you can know when I'm uploading videos and stuff. Like I try to upload maybe like three or four times a week right now. I still got a lot of stuff to do. Daily uploads, we'll see. Maybe uh, eventually if I stop you know, hammering these videos and you know, getting them ready beforehand, but a lot of times I get creative block and I don't know what kind of videos to make. That's why you'll see you see a lot of reaction videos, but I'm trying to, you know, make a, a lot of different type of videos too, not just reaction videos. Anyway, y'all, I know y'all been like, all right, what the hell is the point of this video? So the point of this video is just me talking about just changing your life, man. So for the past, uh, let's say two, last couple of years, I've had problems with palpitations. So palpitations for me started, um, I used to drink a lot of energy drinks, man, and from since college. So I'm 27 right now, and uh, you know, I was in college since I was 18, from 18 to 21, and I never drank an energy drink before that. I just went to like the college, they had like a little store, and I saw a Red Bull. I was like, you know what, let me try a Red Bull and see if this really works. Yeah, man, um, it's the first time I drank a Red Bull, bro, I was hopping off the walls. Like, I just had a bunch of Skittles, bro. Ever since that, man, I would just drink Red Bull every day before I go to class. I would just drink Red Bull and eat fruit snacks. The only thing I was fucking doing in college. Translate to getting out of college, I, I still was drinking energy drinks, but I didn't really start drinking energy drinks heavy until I started working at Sprint. I uh, still currently work at Sprint. I worked at, I saw working at Sprint when I was about 20, it's about, it's been three years. So when I was 24, is when I started working at Sprint. Doesn't even seem like it's been that long, but it has been. So yeah, so I was 24 and every day I would drink a monster or, you know, I would drink two monsters a freaking day. Not even just monster, just any energy drink, like every freaking day, man. And then also when Call of Duty Ghost came out, and you know, so when Call of Duty Ghost came out, they were, you had Eminem who was sponsoring it and they had Monster that was sponsoring it. When I say those ads, those ads got me, bro. I would be literally playing Call of Duty Ghost, listening to Eminem, Martel Matches, uh, Martel Matches LP2 and drinking freaking Monster because that was the full package. I had the full package, yo. So yeah, man, but it, just long story short, man, I was, I've been drinking, I was drinking energy drinks like every freaking day. And one day, I was driving and I went to go get a coffee. This, uh, I want to say, is about, uh, I want to say maybe two years, almost two years ago. I went to go get a coffee and actually it might have been less than that. I went to go get a coffee. All of a sudden, I started feeling this fluttery feeling I've never felt before in my chest. And I got scared. I went to the doctor or the, I went to the emergency room. Maybe like two, three days later when it, it kept coming, I was door dashing and stuff. Yeah, man. And actually, this was like uh, early last year. So, yeah. Yeah, I went to the doctor. They said, oh, you got palpitations. So, you should stop 
drinking energy drinks, you should stop doing this or that, stop taking doing alcohol and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I stopped the energy drinks, I stopped the coffee for a minute. I would go back to it occasionally, and every time I did it after that, I would get palpitations, so I had to stop. The energy drinks would make me feel crappy anyway, but they never gave me those that fluttery feeling. At that point in time in my life, and like and like I said, this is probably last year around February, because before that I would I would be able to drink, I would smoke, I would smoke weed. And I would never have these feelings, you know, of my heart pounding and stuff. Because that's what palpitations is. You, some of it is fluttery. Some of it is you notice your heartbeat. Yeah, I, I basically was like, yeah, I got to stop this. So I, I cut energy drinks out altogether eventually. I was still drinking. I was still smoking a little bit. And then after a while, after smoking here and there, every time I would smoke, now I uh, now I feel my heart is pounding on my chest. Never happened before before I got these palpitations because I developed anxiety. I've developed and I've looked it up. I believe I have heart or health anxiety. Ever since those palpitations just planted in my brain that man, something's wrong with you. You know, every time I just know it's my heart. So this this was going on for a while. It's crazy, but right before that, in January of last year, I had a, I went to a trip to Miami and I was smoking the entire time and I never I didn't feel anything I was fine and I was drinking fast forward to and this is this was an entire year I went to the hospital a couple like three times because I was scared one time I was in Atlantic City and I mean I wasn't even smoking in Atlantic City one night it was like one o'clock in the morning and I was like my heart just started my heart just went up to like 150 BPM like just out of nowhere yo so I went to the hospital there they said I was fine I went every time I went to the hospital though they, they do an EKG and they said I was fine I even went to go see a cardiologist. He said that I was fine. So nothing's wrong with my heart. And he said you need to just stop smoking, stop drinking, stop, you know, doing alcohols. Another thing too, I was vaping a lot and the vaping would fuck with the palpitations too. So I had to stop vaping. So I cut out a lot of stuff, but it didn't stop because the one thing that I didn't stop doing was drinking. Fast forward to this quarantine. I actually had to be on a 14 day quarantine because my girlfriend, she was exposed to COVID. She didn't have COVID, but her, one of her coworkers had it, and they put her on the 14, and they suggested that I go on the 14, so I went on the 14-day quarantine. When, when I say that in we we stocked up on liquor, I, lately I've been only really drinking wine, but that wasn't helping. I drank wine, and, and I was drinking wine like almost every fucking day, if not every day. And once again, it's all coming back. But I started, I started getting different feelings. Not just the palpitations, but actual things are hurting. Like, not really bad. Not like, you know, oh, man, I'm about to have a heart attack. But in my mind, I kind of feel like I am. That's what health anxiety is. You, you feel these certain things. You feel these different sensations in your body. And you think that you're about to fucking die, basically. That fast forward me to now. For probably the first time in a long time. I haven't drank. I took multiple days off of drinking. I actually haven't drank in a basically in a week. It's been a week since I've drank. I started drinking lemon juice water, and I actually started a celery juice cleanse because I'm also trying to lose weight. And when I say I feel a hundred times better, I feel a thousand times better, yo. Basically, with this video, what I'm trying to tell you is that change your ways, man. You feel like that, you know, something's not working out. You feel like that you, you know, if you are, if you have health anxiety, maybe like me, and you feel like something's wrong, you change your change your diet, man. Go take walks. Cause even I would take walks and runs, and my chest would start hurting. I'm like, man, something's wrong with me. But I decided, you know, let's cut out everything, man. And when you start to ch uh, start changing things, start actually putting in work and Doing things for yourself, man, you're gonna feel so much better, bro. Like, I promise you, man. And this is isn't it is no this is not a hack video for nothing. This is just a little motivation video for you guys. Just like, yo, just you know, do something that just makes you happy. Yo, this music stuff, I've been putting in work for this music for about a year, almost maybe two years, like completely putting in work, um, like actual work, not just making music and stuff, and I'm starting to see results i'm starting to see growth in my in everything man it's slow but it's steady it's slow but it's consistent man and um i'm mean, just here for the journey and everything man so yeah man like go ahead and change your life yo make a decision like you know if you 
you know, anything. It, it can be anything, man. If you feel like you want to go lose weight, do that. If you feel like you want to go and rap and make music, do that. If you feel like you want to do anything in this world, go and do it. Anything you, that think that, that you think will make you happy, go and do that right now. And I promise you, man, you're going to feel so much better. But yeah, that's basically the end of this video. Like I said, I just want to share a little things with you guys. Uh, I hope you guys get to know me a little bit more. Never really told anybody that. Um, actually, it's, it's kind of what's going on with me right now. So, like I said, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys turn those notifications on. We're going to be doing more live streams and stuff, especially when my numbers get up. And uh, yeah, man, peace out.